guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never seen any of my videos before my name is Allison I am part-time aspiring artist and I just like to make YouTube videos every now and then so today's video will be cool artist gifts for your cool artist friend I did an artist gifts video I think back in 2020 and that video was more like gifts to get your friend who's just starting in art or like a young artist who's just starting in art um, and it's more because like the beginner artist kits that you get at the store are not really that good quality so if you're trying to find a gift for your friend who wants to get into art I would suggest checking out that video so anyways let's get into some gift ideas the first gift idea that I have here is ceramic palettes or paint cups and these are handmade ceramic items um, I've seen a couple like this would be for an artist that likes to paint and it can be any type of painting really um, it can be acrylic it could be watercolor or gouache you don't have to know what all those are but if you know that your friend paints these would probably be a cool gift to get them um, and this like the two ceramic companies that I've picked out in particular and these are small companies independent creators so you're supporting small businesses which is super cool um, is Sugar House Ceramic Co. I've seen some really cool stuff from them they have like some really cool palettes and paintbrush holders and things like that I would suggest if you go to them get get a palette like a nice big one or something with a lot of like little mixing wells I've even seen one that has like a bunch of mixing walls and then like a flat area. That one's really cool. Get that one. And the second one that I found was Sylvan Clayworks. And these will all be linked in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, Sylvan Clayworks, what I, the stuff that I really like from them, they have like some fluted paint water cups um, with like stuff at the bottom to clean your paintbrushes. Um, they're just really pretty and then one that I liked from them in particular was like this paint cup moon palette combo um, which is really just so beautiful. I've been wanting it forever. If from either of these creators you miss their restock because again it's just like a one person show from what I understand. Um, so they make a whole bunch of stuff and then they put it in their shop and then you got to get it uh, while they have it in stock and otherwise you're gonna have to wait until the next time they have stock available. So if you miss any of those restocks you can actually get a gift card to this these gift shops or not gift shops to these ceramicists online stores and you can give that to your artist friend so that when the next restock happens and they can get themselves something um, you know, this would pro that would probably be a really good idea, especially if you know that this person has been wanting something. Next is prints or merch from an artist they follow. So this one you'd have to do a little bit of research on their socials. Um, so whatever social that they tend to be active on, whether it's Instagram or YouTube or Twitter, like, you know, it's e easiest if you can, if they are active on Instagram because then you can go through their following page and you can just kind of creep through there and see if there are any artists um, that they follow um, and then if you're sneaky maybe you can like snag their phone and then you can go into like the um, in their settings you can actually see like their like history this could get dangerous especially if they're like liking stuff on their personal account you could potentially find out which artists that posts that they're actually interacting with um so tread lightly on that but you know at the very least you could creep through their following page and see who they're following or you could even just ask them um if you do have a friend that you talk art with in real life maybe you could initiate that conversation and get them some merch from their favorite artists next would be an art history shirt or tote so i've seen these for ages and ages and i've always wanted one never jumped the gun and got myself one so this would be one of those gifts that's like a perfect gift for your artist friend is um like uh, art history and it has like these little smiley faces on it that's like picasso and like how picasso would do a smiley face and then van gogh and how van gogh would do a smiley face and things like that so and then like how 
what was it, Warhol and Jason Pollock and all that, all those kinds of guys. Um, and then there's the, like, the duo or, like, the second version of that shirt, which is, like, women's art history. And so then it, like, does the art history, like, smiley face versions of, like, famous women artists throughout history. Either one of those, like, you can usually find them pretty easy if you just search, like, art history t-shirt. Um, you can find so many, so many. You could get it on a tote, you could probably get a sticker, you could probably get a poster, um, something of that nature, like if you don't think that they would like to wear a graphic tee, um, you can get them something like that and then they probably would enjoy it because they probably have liked it but maybe they never bothered to get it for themselves and spend the money on it. Another one is art themed socks. So I think you can actually go on Amazon um, and look up art socks and you'll find all sorts of socks. Like I've seen one with like the scream on it, I've seen one with um, the great wave of Kanagawa, I've seen um, I think Van Gogh socks, if you know that your artist friend really likes impressionism, Van Gogh socks would be like honestly perfect. And things like that, they're usually like crew socks, um, so you know make sure your friend likes wearing that kind of thing. Um, if they don't particularly like crew socks, maybe pass on that one. Um, but yeah, so art themed socks is a fun gift, I think. And if they don't like wear them out, at least they can like wear them around the house and kind of have like some fun like cozy winter socks that they wear around the house that are art themed, that would be kind of fun. All right, so next up is a Mossery notebook. Um, Mossery is a Southeast Asia based company and they make these notebooks and like it does, they make sketchbook quality notebooks and then they also make planners um, but the cool thing about them is like their covers are reusable so the notebook that you get them they can take the the paper part out and then they can buy another insert from Mossery and reuse it um, which I think is really cool um, they have lots of really cool fun designs um, and they also actually have art kits so this is another one of those this is kind of like an add-on to my previous vid video of like creating your own beginner art kit um, you could also buy an art kit from Mossery I don't I don't know if they had these when I made the last video um, but I think that they did they have these I think they did but I don't think there were very many of them there are a lot of art kits now um, there are ones with like um, wash paints there are ones for watercolors there are ones for I think there's a colored pencil kit and a paint markers kit, all that kind of stuff. Um, there are lots of really cool art kits that you can get through Mossery. Um, so you could get a like sketchbook with a personalized cover, or you could get an art kit, which you can also still personalize the covers. They're just lots of cool stuff. They also have lots of cool stationery on there. Um, so I would suggest checking out Mossery because um, they have a lot of cool things. The next one is. Uh, hand mixed watercolors. So I always thought this one would be cool. Personally, I'm not super good at watercolors. I'm not very learned in them or practiced in them. I'm not very practiced in watercolors. Um, I'm starting to kind of get into it, but I always thought it would be cool if I could get into watercolors, then maybe get some like fancy handmade watercolors. Um, there are lots of companies that, um, like not major companies, but like small creator companies. Um, that make handmade watercolors. I've actually seen some on Etsy, so I'll link some below of like the ones that I thought were really cool. Um, some of the ones that I've seen on Etsy, they even make like a, a kit of handmade watercolors. Um, they are a little bit on the pricier side, but if you know that your artist friend likes watercolors, it might be, you know, worth it. Honestly, all art supplies are going to be pricey. Like this, just it's the bane of our existence. It's it, you know it's the price you pay for being an artist. Hand mixed watercolors would be super cool if you know that your artist friend is into watercolor. Okay, another cool one is some sort of like art supply carrier thing. A long time ago when I was in New York, I got this um, roll up like art supply carrying case and I thought it was super cool. I used it for a super long time until it got like really ratty and, and I had to get rid of it because it was, it was done. So you could look up some sort of like uh, maybe I'll try to find some and put some links, um, but some sort of art supply carrying thing for, you know, your artist friend to take on the go. I have one, 
I actually bought this on Amazon. I wanted it in a different color, but you know, I just haven't ever bothered to get it. It wasn't that expensive. This is what I got, and I got, I can fit all sorts of stuff in here, it's crazy. So if I ever feel like I wanna like go and do like some sort of RC thing, I can take all these supplies with me in this little carrying case, just throw it like in a bag, and you're good to go. I think that was like 11 bucks on Amazon too, so you can find some pretty reasonably priced ones. And it could be just like, you look up pencil case, but you wanna make sure that you can fit a decent amount in there. You don't want it to be like a little tiny one, you want it to be like a pretty good size case um, and I like that one because it had a lot of compartments to put things in so stuff wasn't all just getting jumbled around. This is kind of like in a broad category but like buy stuff from an art museum. Like you may or may not know that you can get like a lot of the items that an art museum carries in their gift shop. You can just order it and have it shipped to your house. Um, so I actually saw that I think I don't know if they still carry it, but on the MoMA website, they had a Starry Night umbrella. I always thought that would be so cool, have a Starry Night umbrella. Um, or you can find like lots of cool, interesting things, like if you know your friend likes vases, um, you could do that, or there's just lots of cool things. Maybe I'll just put a little scroll through of the MoMA website so you can see what they have. So you can look at um, the MoMA, which is in New York. You could look at um, the LACMA which is Los Angeles Contemporary Museum of Art in Los Angeles. Um, what is the one in New York that's like super famous? The Met. You could look at the Met. The Met has lots of cool stuff. Like there's just lots of cool art museums, right? Oh, Guggenheim. Look at the Guggenheim website. Uh, the Louvre, the Dorsay, and those are both in France. So if you are not in France, then you're probably gonna pay an arm and a leg for shipping. Um, and you wanna order that quickly because International shipping takes a really long time, sometimes, most of the time. The Rodin, Rodin Museum. Um, I think there's more in France, but there's there's art museums all over the place. Just look up famous art museums, go to their website, go to their shop page, and peruse what they have. See if there's anything cool that grabs your eye and buy it for your art friend. Okay, another one. I hope these are still available, so if they're not available, then just let's cut this whole section out. Um, but the next one is an A9 rig. So this thing is a, um, it's like a posable, oh I have one. It's kind of broken because I've had it for ages. So it's kind of like one of those wooden mannequin things, but better. Um, because this is actually more anatomically accurate. Um, so it's like can make pretty much any pose that you need it to. It's like take a runner pose for no how do they how do they pose when they're about to take off for running? Like that. Or maybe he's getting down to tie his shoe. So you you would use this and then take a photo of it and use this is basically the basis for the skeleton of a person that you're drawing. Um, it's really difficult to draw the human body from memory, so oftentimes an artist will have to look up photo references for the pose that they're trying to make, but sometimes there aren't photo references available um, for the specific pose you're trying to do or for the, from the specific angle you're trying to do it from. So having something like this is really, really helpful, especially for somebody if they draw a lot of people um, in their artwork. So. This is really good for that kind of artist. So they also, like this company, they've also expanded their line um, and added in a lot of other cool um, figures. Like now they do animals and they do kids and they, they have women and men figures, I think. Um, and you know, lots of other crazy things for pretty much anything that you can imagine these days. If your friend does a lot of like, that kind of art, then go ahead and check those out um, because it's a really cool gift. Next up is uh, getting them a really cool puzzle. I found this company called, I hope I'm saying this right, Eboo, E-E-B-O-O, Eboo, I think that's how you say it. Um, and they sell a lot of, um, they sell puzzles, but they're all puzzles with artwork from like just artists like they're not just like your generic like landscape puzzle they're puzzle 
from like lots of independent creators out there and they kind of work with them and put their artwork on these puzzles. Um, so those are really cool. If you know your friend likes puzzles and they also like art, then that would be a cool gift for them. This next one is also kind of in the vein of like travel accessories, but this is called the Portable Painter Palette. Um, if you, again, know your friend likes to like make art when they're out and about, then this might be a good one, particularly if they like to do watercolor again. So this is like a palette that like it, like it has a case that comes apart and then it has um, the palette that attaches onto the pieces of the case so that way the case then acts as a water cup and then you have the palette and you, you it's supposed to fit on your leg um, and so that way you can have your palette steady on your leg and then your sketchbook on your other leg and you can have your water cups right there um, and you can do your art when you're on the go. Okay another idea is a Bob Ross Chia Pet. I know this sounds really silly um, but a lot of artists like Bob Ross, even if they don't like his artwork, they at least like um, just his general demeanor or they appreciate the technique. Um, he And at this point he's just kind of like a, a meme, I guess? He's almost a meme at this point. Um, but I've seen a Chia Pet that's a, of Bob Ross, um, so it, I guess if your friend likes art and plants, then that might be a good idea. Or even if they just would like doing that kind of thing, even if they don't like plants, but um, then they can like, the, the chia grows into Bob Ross's afro, which I think is really funny. Um, so my last idea is a Salvador Dali clock. So if you've ever, if you've ever seen that surrealist painting with the clocks that are all melting, um, there actually is a clock that you can buy that looks like those melting clocks. Um, so it's just kind of like a funny thing. You could like put it on your mantle or put it on a bookshelf or something like that and have like the melting clock and like I, most of the time they work. I think they're like kind of iffy on whether or not they work, but even if they don't, it's just like kind of a fun thing to have so that people like see it and they're like, oh, that's that thing from that painting. And, I mean, some people might, might not even know what the painting's called or who the artist is, but they still will probably recognize the painting. Um, so yeah, just another fun thing that you can get them. So anyways, guys, those are all my ideas for you for this year. If you have any cool ideas for artist friends, then go ahead and leave them in the link below. And I hope you found these helpful. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you. Until next time, don't quit your daydream, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.